Devo style here. Skinny Charlie, I think. Hard to tell. All, of, all our friends, we appreciate y'all being here. Uh, you make the meeting. Amen? Amen. And uh, we really do appreciate it. And the older we get, uh, the more we know in the ministry, you make enemies, you make friends. And the friends seem to outweigh the enemies. I'm starting to figure that out. You know, 59, I get about 60. It's like some of you preachers old. And I'll, I'll get it together. Anyway. <laughs> but I'll still be a little honoring for some reason. Amen. Glad you're all here, and I pray that you uh, got your heart right before you came in. And if you didn't, if there was like a shock during the preaching, it's just the Lord trying to wake you up. That's all. Don't, it, it'd be good if you got that kind of shock. Good to have a wake-up call. Amen. Uh, if there's no wake-up call, there's no Holy Ghost. No Holy Ghost, you need to get saved. But we still believe in conviction. I mean, you got to be pricked in your heart. There ain't no pricking of the heart. Ain't nothing happening. Nothing happened. I ain't buying it no more. Amen. I mean, when you do something wrong, you ought to feel bad. You ought to stay bad, feeling bad till you get right. Yeah, that'll work. That'll preach. All right, ushers, come uh, get tonight's offering. I need to pray for... Uh, uh, brother and sister Hood, uh, he lost uh, their oldest boy, Ron uh, Hood, to uh, uh, esophagus cancer, and uh, he was saved. They made sure that the whole week, and the Lord worked it out where Ron didn't have to have any uh, the heavy narcotics, so he was conscious all the time and a good spirit. And uh, so now I have to pray for the family. i uh, pray for uh, Mrs. Hood especially. She has her own personal physical problems besides Brother Hood. But, She's got some immediate attention that she needs, so pray for her. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Rachel. Okay, Rachel. Okay. Well, they went to the boys' in, uh, boys home today, and they're going to go tomorrow the next day. They had two boys saved, one girl saved. Um, that's a blessing that we're able to do that. And uh, either that or them up and the gay just scared them to death, probably. But uh, amen, amen. I'm just glad that they, uh, and they, they're allowing them to come back tomorrow, right? Danny, they're allowing them to come back tomorrow. I mean, it was like, okay, okay, I guess you do right they can shut you down real quick, too. Right. Did I pray yet? Thank you. Thank you very much. Let's pray. <laughs> Father, we love you. We thank you for your mercy, for your grace. We thank you, Father, for being with the preachers that I see here today, Father, dear God, and uh, Father, sustaining them. And God, it's, it's just an encouragement to me. And Father, dear God, we pray that we're a blessing to them, that the Holy Spirit of God would meet with them and encourage them and strengthen them and watch over them. And Father, for the Hood family, we, we pray, dear God, that you just continue to bless there and, and comfort. And for Rachel, Father God, uh, her, it was her father that went on, so we, we pray just a, a special blessing for her, Father. And God, that things will work out, that she'd not get bitter against you or anything like that. And Father, we thank you for the souls that were saved. And uh, Father, uh, just meet with us, Father, tonight we pray. Uh, bless the offering. You know the needs that we need here, Father, with the meeting. In Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.